Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Chasing 70 Degrees. My name is Travis and we've had a break in the weather here in Maryland, so it's actually warm enough to come outside and get some stuff done. So I figured I would go ahead and do some installation videos for my Ford F-150 3.6 liter EcoBoost 2018 truck. And so what we're gonna be talking about today is I'm gonna be installing the Ronin factory tie down kit in the bed of my truck because I'm gonna be hitting the road here in June, gonna be hooking a trailer up and heading across country. And so I've got a small generator. I wanna make sure I can secure that generator in the back of my truck. So we're gonna be installing these Ronin tie down cleats or brackets along with the cleats uh, and what's gonna be required for the installation. So we're gonna take a close up look at what we've got in the kit, but right now we're gonna need some kind of a lubricant that's been recommended in terms of Vaseline, maybe some grease or some oil. Um, and then you're gonna want uh, some sort of a driver, right? And uh, I'm gonna try this Ryobi. If this doesn't work, I've got a Milwaukee um, hammer drill that I could use because the, th the screws are gonna come threaded, uh, but the holes or the receptacles for those screws are not threaded. So we're gonna have to get those in there and we wanna go ahead and make sure we put some Vaseline on there. Now. In addition to me doing the install here, you're gonna notice that when we get in the bed of my truck, I have a truck bed liner. So that's gonna make this installation a little interesting. I do have a Dremel tool as well in case I need to shave away some of the bed liner in order to get a straight on shot to get those screws installed. And most importantly, you are actually gonna benefit from this video because as you'll see, I have the Backflip MX4 bed cover and I also have the, uh, the back box that's in there. And that back box covers the uh, sort of uh, cab, the closest to the cab area, covers up the um, clamp, the, what would be the Ronin clamp installation points. And so I'm only gonna be putting two of these in because that's all I'm gonna be able to use because I really like that back box. I like the idea of being able to keep my tools in it. Uh, and it, again, I gotta give up a usage of those other two spots. So here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, watch the video and pay attention to see how today you can actually be given the other half of this Ronin install kit, right? So I'm going to give you two brackets. I'm going to give you two keys. I'm going to give you two uh, cleats that you can put in and you can install them into your Ford F-150 if you'd like. All right, so let's go ahead and get a close-up look of what we've got in the kit and what it is we're going to need to uh, do to get this installed in the back of the truck. All right, let's get a close-up view of the kit. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look and see what we've got inside of the kit. And as you can see, you know, nicely packaged. And we've got the four cleats, right? Again, only two of these cleats are actually gonna be used by me. And so the other two cleats are gonna be yours, right? And I'll tell you how you're gonna win that. And again, we've got two sets of two keys here. So you're gonna end up getting a set of these keys as well. And I'm actually gonna be shipping everything inside of the original box here for you. So only two of those keys I'm gonna use. Now, you can see there's also a set of instructions that you get here on how to install these cleats. Keep in mind that this, uh, this powder coated uh, bracket that goes, uh, that you're gonna screw onto the truck, it kind of goes as if it looks like, you know, a little Space Invader or a rocket ship taking off and make sure that you put it in, uh, in the right orientation with like the rocket ship sort of facing up and then you're just gonna slide the cleat in there and it's literally gonna be that easy. I'm gonna leave these instructions in here for you as well. Now the last thing we need to do is drop out what are gonna be the screws here and it looks like these may be taped down as you can see, I haven't opened this yet. And we got some more, more, more tape here on the sides. Let's get that off of there and we'll put that in there. All right, and there we go. And again, you can see it's gonna give you uh, some more instructions here. So the bolt holes of the truck bed are unthreaded, so follow these steps. Add some lubricant, it's asking for a candle wax, uh, and then kind of shoot or you know screw in uh, each bolt a little bit before you do the final placement. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and leave this in here for you as well. And we've got our four powder coated cleats, again, only two of which am I gonna be using. And the other two are gonna be headed your way. And so let's go ahead and get these unwrapped and then we're gonna have the screws. And so I'm gonna go ahead and we'll get these lubricated up with some Vaseline as well. And so let's get this off here. They've got these pretty, pretty nicely packaged. Again, the orientation for the powder coat brackets 
uh, is going to be as such, right? It's going to look just like that, sort of like, you know, a little rocket ship taking off, and then that's how it's going to go in uh, on the side of the truck bed over there. So I'm going to take two of these out. Again, the other two, I'm going to slide back in here. Those are going to be yours. And again, kind of an appreciation of saying, you know, hey, thanks for stopping by the channel and sticking with me and watching the video. And let's go ahead and this may be a little bit tougher here. This thing's kind of taped all the way up around in a circle. I may have to grab my X-Acto knife. And in fact, let's see what we got here. Let's see if I can get this open. Yeah, I'm going to grab my X-Acto knife here and I'm going to cut this open. So let's, we'll be right back. All right. So as you can see, we've got the screws here, right? And uh, this is going to be a little tricky, but once I get this installed in my truck, I'm no longer going to need that Torx bit. So I'm going to be sending you the Torx bit as well. So eight of these guys are going to stay with me. Uh, the rest are going to go with you. And now this is what the Vaseline is going to be for is, you know, they sort of recommend that uh, since the screws are sort of threaded here, but the holes are not, is to put some Vaseline uh, sort of on each of these screws, which is why we've got this here, right? So you would just, you know, grab a little bit of Vaseline, kind of rub it along, give you a better look here. And this is going to be a little bit messy, so I would definitely recommend some paper towels uh, once you're doing this. And that's why I've got this uh, cloth here that I'm going to set them down on. I'm not going to do uh, all eight of them right here in front of you, but that's how I'm going to go ahead and put the Vaseline lubricant on there. And just let me go ahead and set that down. So I'm going to pull eight of these out. The other eight, I'm going to stick right back in here. As you can see, I've already got this package back up and ready to ship to you. So let's go ahead, get uh, all eight of these ready to go. And then the next shot you're going to get is we're going to go ahead and move into the bed of the truck. I'm going to use my uh, sort of smaller tripod here to mount the camera on and we're going to see what it looks like to try to do this with a truck bed liner. All right, so let's go ahead now and get the installation done with the, uh, the brackets as well as the cleats. All right, so here's where the installation might get a little interesting. So I'm again at the rear of the truck bed here. And again, I have a truck liner, a bed liner in my truck. And so you've got these little panels here, uh, sort of these plastic panels that you can remove. Uh, to get access to where you would drill, right? So you can see we've got the one, two, and then you can't, you can barely see three and four over here. I'd have to move the, the camera almost in my way. So, but again, there's two matching holes on the other side. Now, one of the very cool things I noticed uh, about the Ronin kit is the screws that they gave you. They actually give you four extra screws and an extra Torx bit. Right. So I thought I was going to be shipping you the Torx bit so that you could get it installed on your truck. Uh, however, there's a second bit. So uh, you're good to go. And we've got two extra screws. So you're totally set. Now, the way that these go in here, remember that that is upside down. We want them to go in like this. And so here's kind of where it's going to get a little dicey because this could fall uh, into uh, behind the liner. So that's how it's going to sit in there. Again, it makes it look like it's a little rocket ship taking off. Uh, and what they recommend is the first thing that you do is you go ahead and you drive in some of these screws in order to establish uh, the threading for the holes. Now, here is another concern, right? This bed liner, uh, it does come out quite a ways there into uh, it kind of gets in your way where you may want to sort of trim it back. So I'm going to grab my Dremel tool and let's do that uh, right now. All right, so as you can see, I've got a uh, just a Dremel 200, and I'm going to go ahead and use this bit right here to see if I can go ahead and shave back some of... All right, well, that made a pretty big mess. However, uh, you can see here, right, we've got a, like a little notch that's going to give me a straight-on shot uh, to thread these screws through. And again, I'm sure if there was any manufacturer warranty on this thing uh, that it is no more. Again, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. You're not going to have to sit through that, obviously. Uh, but again, it was a Dremel 200, uh, and I just kind of trimmed back uh, the truck bed liner so that I could get a straight-on shot uh, with my um, Ryobi drill uh, to get these screws threaded in here uh, nicely. All right, let's go ahead and uh, let's run one of the screws in here. And then again, we're going to kind of run it in and then run it back out. And let's see what we've got here to make sure that, and this is probably something you don't want to drop, uh, given the fact that 
uh, the truck bed liner is not going to be too kind if we lose the screw behind it. All right, so let's go ahead and drive this in there. All right, well, it looks like it looks like this might not be enough. Uh, the Ryobi kind of uh, stopped there as I went to thread it in. So I'm going to go ahead and get a uh, little more powerful drill here. All right, let's give this another shot here. Uh, we're going to go to the same hole, same a uh, screw and let's see if we can get this threaded in straight on here with a much more powerful i'm just using a sort of a black and decker drill that i have there we go and then we're going to go ahead and bring that back out and i'm actually pulling on the truck bed a little bit here bed liner i should say a little bit so that i can get these out all right and you definitely want that lubricant on there because man, did it uh, kind of took it all off of there. So that's gonna be one. And then we're gonna do the next one up here on the top. And they recommend that you do the top two, or at least they show you doing the top two first. Uh, but I just did the bottom one. So let's go ahead and drive this one in here. Yeah, let's get this guy in here. All right, and then I'm gonna pull the the bed liner away and let's get this guy out of here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't want to drop it. All right, good. There we go. So that's going to be top left. And then we'll do top right. Whoops, we'll do top right here. Whoa. All right, let's bring that guy out. Definitely want to be careful how much how much force you're putting on that. So now that we got the top left and the top right done, we're gonna go ahead and we can attach the, the plate. Uh, and again, you wanna be very careful with this. It's gonna be interesting here because I don't have anybody helping me. And you don't wanna drop this behind the truck bed. So that is where it's gonna sit. Again, we've got the screws are threaded now. So I'm gonna to start top right here. Uh, and this is going to be interesting. So let me let me kind of maneuver this around. I'm going to thread the screw through first. And let's bring this all the way in here. See if I'm going to be able to do this here. Making sure that we do not drop it behind the bed liner. All right, so we look like we're going to be a go here. There we go. And so I'm just going to go ahead and leave that one there because it's clearly holding the plate in place. We're going to go ahead and get the other screw in here now on the top right. Oops. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, and there, there goes one, one of the screws. So good thing that we've got uh, extra screws. So that was bound to happen at some point. Again, if you didn't have a truck bed liner, this would probably not be uh, too difficult, but with that liner in there. All right, so now we've got the cleat here. Let's go ahead and get this guy in there. There we go. Okay, uh, and they say don't put it in here too hard because you don't want to break the cleat. And again, I might have to loosen that up uh, so that I can get some access uh, to these holes down here. So I may have to back these guys out a little bit. Uh, so that kind of still moves a little bit. There we go. So you want to keep that loose. There we go. So that way we've got a little play here uh, so I can get a little bit closer to where I need to be. All right, well, let's grab two more screws here and let's get these guys on the bottom driven in. And there, <laughs> there, there goes that screw. You just heard it there. All right. So there we go. So there's one bottom screw. And now this one's going to be interesting uh, because it doesn't line up perfectly here. In fact, it kind of looks like it's a little bit to the side. So I'm actually going to back out this one over here to the right. And again, this bed liner is not making this easy. There we go. So let's go ahead and do this. Yeah, there, it's going to be a little bit better. And you might want to wear some plastic gloves. Oops, let's get this going in here. There we go. 
All right, so I'm just gonna take it. I'm not gonna torque it on there too hard. And now I'm gonna drop all four of these sort of flat, right? Yeah, and that Ryobi boy did not even come close to getting the job done. Now we got this last one here on the top. Pull this back away, truck that away here. There we go. All right, so that cleat is now in there. And maybe what I'll do is try to clean up, uh, clean, you know, clean this up, maybe round these off a little bit nicer because, I mean, this looks a little, a little bad here. All right, so what's the next thing we do? Well, we're going to go ahead and we're going to drop in the cleats. So let's make that happen. All right, so to install our cleats, remember you're gonna do it with the, uh, the keyhole uh, on the bottom here, right? And so literally, you're just gonna kind of slide it back in there and it's nice, uh, there's enough clearance here, even with the bed liner, there's clearance behind this. Uh, so you should be able to get this in without too much work. And let's see what we got here. All right, so there we go, right? So that's kind of in place and actually, you know what I need to do here is, Let's open that up there. There we go. All right, so we open it up. So uh, sort of a lesson learned right there. You're probably gonna wanna make sure that the key is inserted in and that you uh, crank it so that it's opened up. And then we've got this little blue film of some kind here protecting the lock. So we'll get that off of there. So again, it's horizontal right now. Uh, and that is in the lock position. And I believe that that would be the, the unlocked position if I was to try to bring this, you know, back down out of here, but it is in there. I mean, really, really solid. And actually it looks like, yeah, it looks like that has locked it into place. Again, I'm not anticipating anybody's going to get in here. And if they did get past the, uh, the backflip MX4, uh, the least of my concerns <laughs> would be my tie down cleats. All right. So that is in there again, just checking to make sure the keys uh, the keys work and it looks like they certainly do work and yeah this is uh you can probably see that shaking i mean that's pretty good so uh again the, the whole premise behind this is hey i've got you know my rhino tie down straps i want to clap clasp these on here or something like that and uh use them to tie something down i can go ahead and do that all right well i'm going to go ahead and knock out the other side no need to see that uh and here's how you're going to win uh the other half of this kit right with your own keys uh, your own Torx bit and uh, everything you need to get this installed uh, and a couple extra screws. And so all you need to do is uh, be the first one to comment down below with the year, make, and model of your Ford F-150. And the other half of this kit's yours. And then I'll coordinate, get your shipping uh, address and information, and I'll have it in the mail to you on Monday. All right, let's go ahead and wrap this install up. All right, and so one, one quick go back here that I want to make sure I cover uh, because when I went to put these in, I don't believe I had this in the right position. So that's the unlock position uh, and that would be the locked position. So when you go to slide this in, uh, and again, remember the keyhole is going to be on the bottom. We're in the lock position here. If you rotate it, you should be able to rotate it counterclockwise uh, to get that into a locked position. Oops, sorry, counterclockwise to get it into the unlock position, right? So counterclockwise to get it into the unlock position, which is the position you'd want it in when you go to slide it in there. So uh, you're going to want to twist it counterclockwise to lock and then the key comes out. And that's, again, another very cool feature here is when the key is in here, so we get the key back in. If I rotate it to the unlocked position, right? So you can see that little metal thing's facing forward. If I rotate it to the unlocked position, the key doesn't come out. So that's how you'd know. Counterclockwise lock, the key's gonna come out. So when you go to install it and slide it in there, have the keys in, twist it around clockwise uh, so that it's in the unlocked position with that little metal tab in the uh, 12 o'clock noon position. All right, I just wanna make sure I go back and cover that because I ran into, I shouldn't say issues, but when I went ahead and installed it, it was clearly uh, a little bit off when I put it in there. So put it in the unlocked position when you get it back in there, leave the key in, go clock, I'm sorry, go counterclockwise to lock it, and then the key will come out. Again, remember the key does not come out if it's in the unlock position. All right, let's go ahead and wrap this up. All right, so that is gonna do it for the installation of the uh, Ronin Factory tie-down brackets and cleats in the rear of my 2018 Ford F-150 EcoBoost 3.6 liter. And uh, just a, a couple of quick, uh, 
close out items. So first and foremost, I'm not sponsored by Ronin. I didn't receive this. I'm, you know, I'm not being compensated in any way. I'm just kind of a guy doing his own thing, you know, trying to make his truck as uh, utility friendly as possible. And uh, remember, your make and model of your Ford F-150 down in the comment section below. Be sure to like and subscribe. And if you're the first one to comment, you're gonna get the other half of this kit. And like I said, you got your own set of two keys, you get your own Torx bit, you get 10 screws, so you got two extra screws. So if you're like me and you dropped it in the side of your truck bed behind the liner, uh, you'll have extra screws and you're gonna be good to go. Uh, and the final thing, you may wanna have like some rubber gloves on when you go to do this install, especially if you're kind of cutting away, if you need to cut away a little bit of your liner to make some space to get a straight on shot uh, with your Torx drill when you go to thread those screws through and also when you're putting the Vaseline on the screws. All right, so Vaseline not included with the kit. Hey, as always, I really appreciate you guys stopping by. I hope I have earned the privilege of your time. And maybe this will give you some ideas as to how you can kind of add some utility to your Ford F-150. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. And as always, I hope to see you in the next video.